Hey, hi, how you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. Another little opinion piece here, another little opinion piece similar to the Batman Arkham Knight video. This time, we're talking about Unreal Tournament. Specifically, the new Unreal Tournament, Unreal Tournament 4, the new game that's going to be released sometime next year, and is going to be free to play. Now, let me just say this. I'm worried. I'm worried for Unreal Tournament. We haven't seen a new entry in the franchise for years. For years. And we don't know what to expect from the devs. If They haven't made a sequel for years, so we don't know what the new Unreal Tournament is going to be like. Is it going to be like Unreal Tournament Free? Is it going to be like the original Unreal Tournament? Or are they going to have a completely new take on it? So that's something to be interested and concerned about. But, honestly, what I'm really, really worried about is how this game is going to perform in this day and age's gaming community. This is a gaming community that is obsessed and will constantly buy Call of Duty. This is a gaming community that will spend $60 over and over again on the same franchise and will not play anything else. This is a video game community that is uninformed, refuses to even inform themselves. They have no idea of the historic importance and importance to video gaming as a whole of Unreal Tournament. They've probably never heard of Unreal Tournament, never conceived of Unreal Tournament, because they're too busy playing Call of Duty. Granted, mind you, there are millions. I will, I will testify to it, there are millions of gamers out there who know what Unreal Tournament is, love Unreal Tournament, and would love to see a new entry in the franchise. But in a day and age where Capcom and Square Enix consider any game that doesn't sell 10 million copies is a failure in their eyes, you can't help but wonder how Unreal Tournament is going to survive if millions and millions of people don't play this free-to-play game. I mean. The new Unreal Tournament is going to be free to play, so I can guarantee you, I'm going to try it out. If it's free, what's the harm? If it's free to play, what is there to be afraid of? Give it a try. You're not spending any money, and if the game forces you to make you try and spend money, you can uninstall and quit the game. At least give it a try. But here's the thing. We also live in a video gaming community that always looks for problems. They look for the flaw. They look for anything to complain and bitch about. So, say a certain armor, a certain character, a certain skin, or a certain gun you have to buy in this free-to-play, this new Unreal Tournament that's going to be free-to-play. Say you have to buy with real money. One of those things I just mentioned. What do you think is going to happen? A shitstorm is going to be uh, started. Excuses are going to be made not to play the game. Also, who wants to bet that someone out there, some ignorant gamer, some hater, some troll, is going to go around on every YouTube video of Unreal Tournament and call it a Halo clone, a Call of Duty clone? Who wants to bet some dumbass is going to do that and going to hurt the reputation of this game? Unreal Tournament is awesome. No denying that, Unreal Tournament had a huge impact on the gaming industry and the gaming community. No duh. But here's the thing. With the gaming industry and the gaming community of today, is Unreal Tournament going to be accepted with open arms? Is this new Unreal Tournament sequel going to be embraced or is it going to be shoved away? I know old school nostalgic fanboys of the series are going to eat this up, going to play it for hours, and going to love it. But unfortunately, with the games of today, the way the industry is today, you cannot simply thrive on just fanboys and, and people looking for a nostalgic high. Then again, I could be wrong. Maybe Unreal Tournament can do this. I mean, look at Nintendo. Its whole franchise and market and their games still thrive because of people who live in nostalgia and are fanboys. Not that that's a bad thing. Did I say that was a bad thing? Back there, did I, in those last few words, did I mention in any sense or way that that was a bad thing, being nostalgic or, be a or being a fanboy? I'm both of those, just for different games. But next to fanboys and, this, and people looking for a nostalgic high that Nintendo has and this new Unreal Tournament is going to have, Nintendo also have the benefit of a reputation. What the hell have these devs been doing for the past few years? They've only just started making this new Unreal Tournament 
right now. What have they been doing? Any and all reputation has gone out the window. Sure, there's still the appreciation for the Unreal Tournament games that they made, but they haven't made anything in years. We don't know if they're rusty. We don't know if they're still on the ball. We don't know if they're still passionate or if they just don't care anymore. We don't know. Their reputation is gone because they haven't done anything in years. We don't know what to expect from them. We don't even know if this new Unreal Tournament is going to be good. We don't know if it's going to nickel and dime us. We don't know if it's going to be a great free-to-play game that everybody must own and you only pay money if you want to. And this is why I'm worried about this game. There's so many variables. The inexperience and lost reputation of the developers. The gaming industry and the gaming community of today, how different they were from when Unreal Tournament first came out. The fear people have of free-to-play and uh, free-to-play games trying to charge them and force them to pay money. There's so many negative variables that could affect the new Unreal Tournament sequel. And guys, in all honesty, I'm worried for this game. I'm really worried for it. But what do you think? Are you worried for this game as I am? Are you pumped and excited? Do you have full faith in the developers? Let me know in the comments below. Share your opinion in the comments below. Please, I love reading comments. Please share your comments. If you, if you agree with me, if you agree with everything I said in this video, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It helps me a lot and it really helps this, helps this video. Please hit that like button. And if you're new and stumbled onto this video and you like what you see, you want to see more and support me, Please subscribe. I'm the Gamertron. This has been the Gamertron Show, and I'll see you guys later.